our leadership should be able to practice in order to free to be freedom to be free from wrong perceptions. And when our perceptions are our perceptions are born from our anger, our fear, well, they cannot be called wrong, correct perceptions. Because our wrong perceptions give rise a lot of uh, fear, of uh, anger, of despair, which lead us to act of uh, violence, punishment, separation, and death. And that is why it's very important to practice so that we can bring peace to our perception, removing the wrong elements of our perception. We have the realm of mental formation. Like a fear, like anger, like a disc- discrimination, like a hope, like a joy, like mindfulness. There are about 50, 51 mental formations. And you have to go home to them and look at them and handle them properly in order for peace to be able to be in our mental formations. And then there is the realm of consciousness. To be explored. We have to go home to our mind, to our consciousness. Because our consciousness is the ground of everything. From the ground of consciousness are born our body, our feelings, our perception, and our mental formations. Consciousness is not only the spirit, it is the body. Because not only our bodies contain our consciousness, but our consciousness contain our body. I have arrived, I am home. In the here, in the now. When you practice walking, you might begin by, I have arrived, I'm home, I have arrived, I'm home. I have arrived. You take refuge deeply in your step. I'm home. And home is not an abstract idea. It's not an imagination. Home is your step. Home is your in-breath. They are part of the oneness of life. When you are able to take refuge in your step, uh, you are in touch with all the wonders of life. Walking in the kingdom of God is something you can do right right now. (coughs) It's not a hope. There is not a day when I do not enjoy walking in the kingdom of God. Why should I deprive myself with that joy? Because it's very healing, it's very nourishing. And my friends who sit here, they they can do that also if they really want. If you only want a diploma, uh, a high salary, uh, well, it may take time. But if you want to be in the kingdom of God and to enjoy working in the kingdom of God, you may have it now. If you are able to to go home to the to the present moment, and you are offer means to go home to the present moment, your in breath, which is always available, your steps, always available, and you practice, you enjoy arriving 
you enjoy being home. And you know that your home is in the here and the now. In the here, in the now. In the here, in the now. It seems like the here is different from the now. But it's not. The here is the now. If you are really in the here, you are in the now at the same time. If you are in the now, it is you are in the here also. So here and now, they are not two things. So my left foot and my right foot are doing exactly the same thing, going the same place, here and now. In the here and the now. So these four lines are just a reminder, helping you to be established in the here and the now. And if you walk with a friend, two friends or three friends, and then your collective energy will be stronger, and you support each other in touching life in the here and the now. I arrive. I'm home. I have nothing to do. I just enjoy being a walking in the kingdom of God. I take refuge in the ultimate, like the wave taking refuge in the water. This is possible right here, right now. I am solid. What does it mean to be solid? To be solid means not to be pulled away from the present moment. Because there is a tendency in you to go back to the, to the past. You regret, or you feel guilty. And there are energies that are trying to pull you back to the past, and you get lost in the past with your sorrow, with your regret, and so on. You are not solid because you are a victim of the past. Many of us are victims of the past. We are not capable of living the present moment because the past has become a ghost, a, ho- a, 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 a phantom that always pulls us back to, the, to itself. That those of us who only think of the past, who are not capable of enjoying life in the present moment, you are not free, you are not solid. And that those of us who are caught by, by our worries, our fear, our uncertainty about the future, you are always fearful about the future. What will happen to me tomorrow after tomorrow? You are a victim of your uncertainty, of your, of, of, uh, of your worries about the future. What will become of me tomorrow, after tomorrow? And these kind of worries and fear do not allow you to be really established in the present moment in order to touch life. And you are not solid because you have been pulled away by the past, by the future, by your craving, by your hope, by your fear, by your projects. So you are not solid. But when you say, I have arrived, I'm home, you cannot get me. I'm in the here, I'm in the now. I am master of myself. And then you become solid. So I, I am solid is not auto-suggestion. It's not wishful thinking. Because if you are able to arrive and to feel at home, and then you become solid naturally. So this is a, this is a recognition that you are, you are here and you are now, you are home. This is no longer a hope. There is not an auto-suggestion. This is a reality, and you become aware that you are more solid now.